Okay, so to preface this video, um, this video basically shows me correcting a mistake. Um, I did an inspection which I was calling inspection number three, where I went in and added a super, uh, queen excluder, super, and then the crown board with the candy plane feeder on it. I went back and reviewed the second inspection that I did and checked some of my reference sources and decided that feeding them candy plane wasn't a good start. I should have been feeding them a light syrup. So this video shows where I corrected that. I removed the super, I removed the candy plane and I inserted a feed. Okay, so this is kind of inspection 3B as it were. So I've realised I've made a mistake the whole way along in that I should have been using sugar syrup, not candy praline like I'm using here, even though they're taking it. So I'm going to lift off the lid of the super, which they've already lid glued down a little bit. Fatality. So we're going to give them a dose of smoke. Which they're not terribly pleased about. And likewise I'm going to lift off the excluder that I had put in. And instead what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this super body I'm going to come over here Teaspoon. Actually, no, I'm going to take that super body off first. Pay attention, Paul. Okay. So, I'm going to put the crown board down, like so. I'm going to take some of my syrup. down there. And watch out for the candy plane. I'm just going to spread the syrup up along the sides here. And then likewise around this. So earlier on today when the GoPro wasn't working, I did see the queen. And I just noticed that they weren't laying out as much as I thought they should have. So I'm gonna put this on here. It has about 500 mil, sorry, 500 grams of feed, uh, being pure sugar, sir, being pure sugar, and then 500 grams of um, water. And what we do is we leave the down there as well. Open the entrance as well, which 
I probably shouldn't have done. See, my only concern is I've got the crown board on top of the brood body, and then I've got a super covering it over. Hmm. Just afraid they're going to start trying to build out comb in here. Which is a concern. Okay. Good plan. I'll take that out. I'm going to slide this across a little bit. I'm going to get my spoon and I'm going to get a bee escape. I'm just going to use the bee escape to block the top. Actually, look, I'm here. I'll do a full reinspection just to be sure I'm not making arse things. Okay, so feed her off for the minute. I'm going to put that down here. I'm going to take the crown board off again. I'm just going to drop it there. And we are going to take off. The spacer and put it here. Okay. So board number one, rogue B, but nothing else going on. We're going to put that aside as well. Number two, some propolis, but still foundation. Number three, which is the drone comb. We're going to lift that out. There's some comb being built up along the bottom and a few bees, but other than that, there's nothing major. So we're going to drop that down here, off to the side. Frame four, which is part of the brood frames that came in the nuke. That has some honey stores on the back of it on the outside and on the inside there looks to be pollen and some brood being built up no sign of swarm cells or anything else like that so we're going to put that back in one two three four so frame five which again is one of the frames that came with the nuke Good chance the queen is going to be on this one. Goes to the middle. So, good build up of what looks like brood. And on the back side, again, more brood. Just throwing a knife for the queen. No sign of the queen. We're going to put that in and just slide it across. Frame six. From the nuke. This is basically the central frame. Lots of brood on the back side. And lots of brood on that side as well. No sign of the queen that I can see. No swarm cells, bit of honey to the edges. So that's good. I'm going to put that back in. So it was frame six. Frame seven, again, basically the center of the hive. Quite a bit of stores. And there's the queen there on the bottom. So we know she's in the middle of this. Let's just see if she's going to lay. Mm. 
No, nope, not laying into the nurse, but she's on show, so we're going to be very careful not to do her an injury. Frame 8, to the left side of the middle of the brood. A bit of stores and some uncapped nectar there as well with some brood. So drop that back in. Okay, they're bouncing off me a little bit, so bit of smoke. So frame 9, you can hear they're getting more annoyed because of smoke them. So on the outside of the frame there we can see a good bit of brood, some nectar that hasn't been capped yet. Oh sorry, that's honey not brood. Uh, at the back of the frame, you can see there's not much there at all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Frame ten is blank, and frame eleven is blank. So we're going to slide these all over nice and gently. Again, trying not to crush anyone. Hacked off because it's cloudy though, so it's held to part of it. Okay, so lid down. What I said was I'd do a B escape, so we're going to put a B escape in there. Just 
going to run the sugar syrup down the side of the feeder and down the inside of the feeder. And on the cup as well. So the feeder is good and tight over the hole in the crown board. B escapes on, on the other hole. I'm going to put that on. Super blank frame only. Queen excluder off. We are going to take the bag of fondant that we had. I'm just going to put it over here for a minute. What I'll probably do is put that in the freezer. So, we need to it as we need it because it's still only a blank super. Just make sure everything's squared up. earlier on. So have the entrance reduced down to three slots. I think it's some better chance of defending themselves. I'm gonna take that super away again. So the big mistake I made this time was when I installed my nuke, I didn't use syrup. I used fondant. I knew they needed feeding. But I used the wrong stuff. Apparently, it's syrup is what you should be using when you're trying to build them up on their new nuke. So I used a one-to-one -one mixture of weak syrup. So again, we've inspected the brood box, put on the crown board. We put on an empty super box. Crown board has a B escape on one side just to block it off to make sure they don't get up into the top and start filling it up with comb. And then there's a two litre feeder with one to one syrup. What I've done is I've dribbled syrup down the hole, down the inside of the feeder and on the ridge surfaces on the inside just to get the scent of it and everything else up.